And Rachel's back. Hello, Rachie. Hello, Christopher. You've been busy. I've been very busy. Such a simple question for Fox the Fox. I know, but such a difficult one to find an answer to. It took you the whole hour, apparently. It did take me the whole hour. All right, the wallpaper, My eyes hurt. The wallpaper teaser, uh, hopefully answered in three and a half minutes from now. Before that, a man with a slide on his side. Correct. At the end of a long day at the office, you probably want to get home as quickly as possible. And if your starting point is the third floor of the Electric Works building in Sheffield, you'll get a head start with a seven-second shortcut to the ground floor down a 26-metre helter-skelter slide. Well, Toby Hyam is the Managing Director of Creative Space Management, the company behind the building. Good evening, Toby. Hi there, Rachel. What made you think installing a permanent helter-skelter was a good idea? Well, you know, what we're trying to do is make a really exciting and dynamic workspace for all the sort of creative and innovative businesses in Sheffield. So we just wanted to break all the normal rules. And that's what Electric Works is all about, a place where the rules seem to have been broken. OK, now the building opened last week and officially this uh, Helter Skelter, which is permanent, is going to be just uh, open for use by workers and their guests to the building. How much use is it getting? It's been used every day, every hour, I'd say. I'm down it every day, and, and I tell you what, all the new people that, that are working for the companies there, they, what they say is that it's faster than they thought, it's more exhilarating than they thought, and they really enjoy it. So you've used it. Absolutely. Tell us about the experience. Well, you know, it's a, it curls down. It's like a helix that goes down three stories. It takes exactly seven seconds to get down. You can be a little bit faster, can be a little bit quicker. Uh, we can even get go faster mats, which we will do eventually. But, you know, it's, it's one of those experiences which instead of having a coffee, it gives you a shot of adrenaline. But it's also a talking point. People come into the building, they connect, and they do better business. But what, what's, what's the point of it? I mean, you say it gives you a shot of adrenaline. So if you're sat at your desk and you're having a bit of a mind block, do you just leg it out to the third floor and, and go down the slide and suddenly yes, get inspired? Yes, of course you do. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'll tell you what, there's so many young people working in business today that that's what they want. They just want to get rid of everything, looking at the computer screen and have that experience. But I tell you what, if you're trying to bring a client they're going to remember you and your business when they come into that building. Yeah. You just can't forget it. A three-storey helter-skelter right in the front atrium of your building. Now, you talk about clients remembering you. Obviously, it's not an easy time at the moment for businesses. Do you think being creative like that, like having a huge helter-skelter in the middle of the office, could really make a difference? We really believe it does make a difference. And, and we've also got these facilities for freelancers because in the economy now, there's a not, lot more people who are working on their own, who are working as sole traders and subcontractors. And so people can access our building 24-7 if they join that service. And by having a helter-skelter, by having these other facilities, it actually creates a place where you can do business with other, other people, but it doesn't cost you a huge amount of money to be there. Now, we've said it takes seven seconds to get down this helter-skelter, but I reckon there must be some sort of risk is going on you must have a tally what's the quickest you can do it in <laughs> well you know someone was timing themselves uh, a couple of days ago and they did it in 6.2 seconds and i'll tell you what one second faster you really notice it as you're going down the slide okay uh, that was toby hi i'm toby could you do me a favor yeah could you go and do it now absolutely you could you can hear the screams probably all the way from sheffield well okay well will you go and do it then i'm going there now okay on the, stay on the phone I can't stay on the phone because uh, you've made me use a landline. Oh, no! <laughs> that's yeah. my fault. Well, why don't you call us back on your mobile and do it on, on the telephone? Uh, happy to. Yeah, that's brilliant. All right. Okay. We'll call us straight back now and we'll do the Fox to Fox, then we'll come back to you. Okay. Perfect. Bye, Toby. Only the sharpest eye, the keenest nose, the quickest deer and fleetest toes can ever outfox the fox. They'll never outfox the fox. Only the stoutest arm, the bravest heart, with a magic charm and a good head start, will ever outfox the fox. They'll never outfox the fox. Loving the show. We've got the Cheltenham <laughs> Festival, we've got the cook along tomorrow, we've got a CEO, Helter Skeltering, live oh, down I the slide. I want to slide in Western Heights, that'd be good. I know. Well, From you know, ben and, floor. ben and Jerry's d did that, you know, the ice cream people. Brilliant. Th they both built slides from their beds to their kitchen, so the first thing they do every day is they slide down a slide. So how can you be in a bad mood? It's like living in a TV show. That's the way it is. Andy Cole from Cardiff says, how about this for a Fox the Fox? Rachel, who decided that wallpaper should be that width? Uh, and why has no one produced more narrow or wider wallpaper? Now, this one nearly <laughs> stumped me, but it didn't. I couldn't get a telephone number for the Wallpaper History Society, which is Ooh. obviously the first paper you'd speak wow. to. Everyone at the Museum of Domestic Design and Architecture had gone home for the day. Uh, finally, 
suddenly I found Robert Weston of Hamilton Weston Wallpaper. Yeah. So he told me that wallpaper first became popular in the 18th century when we only had the ability to make squares of paper and not continuous rolls. Right. And the widest we could make it was 21 inches or 53 centimetres, which is the current standard. Uh, but even when they started to make continuous rolls, which I'm sure, Chris, you'll know, was when steam-powered printers were invented in the early 1800s yes, yes obviously yes. Uh, they decided just to stick with the standard but uh, uh, and he said not to worry to Andy he said if you want narrower wallpaper you can get that in 18th century France with the standard width is 18 and a half <laughs> let's inches let's go there yep if you want wider wallpaper go to America with the standard width is 24 inches perfect alright is that uh, alright yeah that's, that's great uh, you'll get a, a round of applause in a moment I'm just thinking is wallpaper stand, the standard width of wallpaper the same as the width of standard wrapping paper I would imagine it probably. looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe they doubled up at night. They made the wrapping paper in the day. They made the wallpaper. Yeah. The what wrapping paper could be the offcuts of the wallpaper. All right, you're going to get a round of applause, and then we're going to get Toby back after this song. Okay. Sliding down. Okay. He's got to get himself positioned at the top of the helter skelter. Help me, Sam.